father and his partner, they figured out how to cook this properly in that just that few, few amount of minutes. You understand what I'm saying? If you live in New Jersey, you already know the state boasts many excellent pizzerias. But it never hurts to have the distinction recognized nationally. But this is the one of the things that I say about other pizza makers. They don't even know how to pop a bubble good. In the fine dining website, The Daily Meal recently ranked Santillo's Brick Oven Pizza in Elizabeth with the fifth best pepperoni pizza in the country. Well, we're famous for the Sicilian, but we sell a lot of both. The neighborhood pizzeria, which began as a bakery in the 1920s, is run by Al Santillo and his wife Lorraine. So we have Italian citizens that come here from the country to Italy, and they even come from Rome, which, if you know about Italians, if I say the guys from Rome, take, take it to the bank. I'm telling you, this is come off the top, off the shoulder. Can I come over to Italy and teach them how to make pizza over there? Santillo may be the least well-known great pizza tradition curator in America. You see this big pie right here? You're going to get 12 slices of Sicilian pie. This is probably the best deal in the whole city of Elizabeth. The most critical things are speed, knowledge, and timing. So I made bread. See, when you make bread for a lot, a lot of years, you have a whole different appreciation for making a pizza. He is the gatekeeper to three generations of pizza making in one of the most unique pizzerias in America. Al Santillo's grandfather, who had long made focaccio for his family at home, decided to try it as a business in 1950. Well, from my father and my great uncles and all my family uh, were ba bakers and pizza makers. So I just rolled back here when I was old enough to stand up and soaked up the atmosphere. Pizza infinity is difficult to conceive, but Santillo's is something you just have to experience yourself. Well, it's got great flavor. Um, it's well made. And you can tell that they've been working at it long and doing a great job. You can only do takeout from Mal's living room. He's 550 right there. Then you want to see over here, can you see that dial? Yeah. Over here is over 600. It houses the massive cathedral-like oven that requires a 20-foot long peel to retrieve the pizzas. His pizzas take six to eight minutes to cook in the brick oven, where the temperature ranges from 500 to 750 degrees. This brick oven was built between 1909 and 1912. It took three years to build. The model is called a low arch. Every brick in this oven in the ceiling is individually hand cut. It was made before the price of steel like came, came down because it was it like 99% made out of brick. The roof, there's no mortar in there. A lot of people don't understand a, a, a true arch, you don't need mortar. The choice of flour is not as important as what you do with it. Using the right amount of water and yeast, covering the dough and letting it sit for several hours using quality sauce. Not paper mache. Every time you do something, when you're working with a fresh yeast, it's all about the timing. Like I have to know what the weather report is every day, how I'm going to make it, because what I'm shooting for is the finished product is going to be just like I worked all day long just to make your one pizza. For cheese, he uses whole milk mozzarella aged at least 30 days. You can make one good pie, but if you're going to make a beautiful pie from morning to night, there's a lot, a lot of critical factors that you have to do. The pizzeria is open seven days a week, but luckily Al gives his wife Lorraine two days off for a break from the craziness. I really try to have everything ready when they walk in the door because that's really what they want. They want to just get their pie and go, you know? So it's, it becomes very stressful because at times we're super busy, you know, and... Um, it's hard to fulfill that. For more information, please go to www.santillopizza.com. I'm the only one could do all this. You find somebody else could come and do it all, give me a day off.